So today we're going to demonstrate how to put a UR cap onto a universal robot with an ECDPI mounted onto it. It's pretty straightforward. And at this point, all I've done is turn on the controller, turn on the robot, and this is the start screen. So you'll see kind of step by step how we do this. So at this point, all I've done is turn on the controller and you can see on the side, I have a USB stick and the only thing I've downloaded on there is the ECBPI UR cap, which is available on our website. If you go to the direct URL that has the ECBPI product, you can download it straight from there. At this point, you actually don't need to initialize the robot. All you have to do is go to setup, UR caps, add, and now I've got my USB displayed so it recognizes that it's that plugged in. Enter in there, and I found my .UR cap program, and that's the part number for the ECBPI. So I open that. So right now it's recognized that the Schmaltz Gripper UR cap is on the controller and it needs me to restart in order to actually install it. So now I've let the robot completely restart and this is the first screen that you're meted with after restarting. So now I'm gonna show you how the UR cap works a bit. So I am gonna initialize the robot. actually hear the brakes release and we're good to go. I'll go to set up robot to actually show that the UR cap is installed and right now the only UR cap on this robot is the Schmaltz Gripper. So I can back out. Program robot and we will start from a blank program and I'll kind of show you how to add a UR cap into your program. So go to structure UR caps, and the only one on there is the small scripper. Click it. That undefined means that it's been added to your uh, move tree. Go to command, and this is what the UR cap allows you to do. So it's got a couple preset options here. Um, gripper on, but I can manually at any point turn on the gripper to hear that it's working and functioning correctly. Turn it off. Um, inside this, I can I can wait for a part presence signal. I can wait for an H2. I can have that be a command on my program. I can just have it wait for an H2 symbol without the gripper being on. I can release a part. So an ECBPI does not have an active blow off, but what it does have is two valves that open to atmosphere. So that'll allow you to correctly and most efficiently release your part. And you can set your release time to seconds. <clears throat> There's a command to turn off all signals and as well a command to wait for condition monitoring um, to be inactive. So there's a couple condition monitoring features in the ECBPI such as um, how fast your gripper is leaking, if you're evacuating the system quick enough, so your evacuation time, if you're not reaching your correct evacuation time, it'll send you a signal saying that you're, you're not reaching the correct evacuation time. Um, so these are just a couple presets that are available with the UR cap that make it, make it really easy to program.